This morning, a dangerous heat wave baking states from coast to coast. The heat is no joke. Shattering dozens of daily heat records before summer has even started. It was way too hot. I had to like leave. Tens of millions of Americans now under excessive heat warnings and watches. This season, this summer is honestly to be one of the worst I've ever experienced. California caught in a vicious cycle of heat, drought and wildfires in San Francisco's Bay Area. My mom's in their house with two other dogs. A brush fire forced residents to evacuate their homes. A blinding smoke filling the air. I got a text message from a friend and then he called me saying that there was going to be an evacuation. We need to get out of here. In Dallas, a spike in temperatures are keeping fire crews busy with heat related calls jumping over the last week. When the heat goes up like this, everyone's at risk. Anyone in the city who's working outdoors, not in a climate controlled environment is absolutely at risk for heat stroke or heat exhaustion if they're not paying attention to the symptoms that their bodies give them. People, not the only ones in danger. Pets without adequate shelter facing the same sun driven threat. I always bring my hydration pack for me. He knows how to drink out of my hydration pack. I keep a first aid kit on me at all times. It's for both me and the dog. And the heat's not just scorching the West. Green Bay and Milwaukee, Wisconsin, even Portland, Maine, having the hottest first half of June on record. As climate changes, as the world warms, we're seeing that our summer extreme heat waves are getting more frequent, stronger, more intense, and more deadly. And this morning, a warning from firefighters with temperatures rising all across the country. They're urging everyone to not leave any people or pets inside their car on a 100 degree day. They say it doesn't take long for temperatures inside your vehicle to hit 160 degrees. Oh, 160. All right, Morgan, thank you so much. So let's find out when this thing may be ending. Al Roker joins us now. Hey, Al. Well, for some of us, it's going all the way into next week. I mean, it's, wow. it's going to be really kind of rough. Let's show you what we've got. Currently, 40 million people under heat advisories, watches, warnings, stretching from the mid plains all the way out west, and it's just going to continue. Widespread records today. Sacramento, Eli, Las Vegas, Palm Springs, all looking at temperatures at or above 100 into the 100 teens, and now it's spreading to the east. Look at today. Omaha, you're going to see 104, 96 in St. Louis, possible record in Tulsa. McCook, we're looking at Dodge City, Denver, getting up to near 100 degrees today. And is there a break in sight? Well, right now, we've got this big ridge. This is an unseasonably strong ridge in place across the west, so the extreme heat will continue there. Look at this. Right into the weekend, triple digits for Sacramento, 90s for Denver, triple digits for Phoenix and near 100 for Kansas City right on into Sunday. However, we get a little bit of a break by next week. The high pressure weakens so along the west coast and the Midwest we'll see cooler temperatures. In fact, Kansas City, you'll see temperatures drop down into the upper 70s, low 80s. Denver, you're still warm. Phoenix, still triple digits. Sacramento, you start to see things cool off. And then we're watching this system get itself together, make its way from the Gulf inland, bringing heavy rain. By Sunday, it tracks inland and weakens, brings a cold front down. That'll accelerate this thing to the north and east, but heavy rain reaching the mid-Atlantic states. Look at the rainfall. We're talking about some places in the central Gulf, up to 15 inches of rain. So we're going to be watching this right through the weekend. Guys? All right, Al. Uh, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.